Hello everyone. In this session, I am going to discuss about the critical radius of insulation for SPM. In the previous session, I have uh, discussed the derivation of the critical radius or a critical thickness of insulation for the SPM. Similarly, here we will find out that critical thickness of the insulation for the SPM. And here, the hollow sphere we are going to consider in the form of hollow sphere, the insulation layer we are going to consider. And for that, uh, insulation layer initially what we are going to add okay even though the insulation layer we are going to add the rate of heat transfer will be go on increasing in the case of small wires and small tubes and cables and after the the critical radius of the insulation the rate of heat transfer will be decreases then the critical radius or a critical thickness of insulation is the the thickness or a radius at which it will give the maximum heat transfer and that can be plotted in this way also okay here on the bare uh, whatever wire or a that tube is there okay it will be giving the certain rate of the heat transfer and that the addition of the insulation the rate of heat transfer will be gone increasing and that reaches a maximum at rcr uh, at critical thickness and critical radius of insulation for sphere can be given as 2k by h and how this the 2k by h expression we are going to get that will be derived further okay here the consideration for the sphere we are going to take consider an insulating layer in the form of hollow sphere as shown in figure okay here insulating layer in the form of hollow sphere okay we are consider let r1 and r2 are the inner and outer radius of the spm okay this r1 and r2 are the inner and outer radius of the spm the inner surface is subjected to the temperature t1 and from the outer surface heat is dissipated by convection into the ambient field at t infinity temperature with convective heat transfer coefficient h the inside surface is subjected to a temperature t1 from the outside surface heat is dissipated by the convection to the ambient field which is having the temperature t infinity and heat transfer coefficient h then the thermal conductivity of the material of the hollow sphere is taken as the k the thermal conductivity of the insulating material of the hollow sphere is taken as the k then the heat flow through the configuration this configuration of the hollow sphere is given by that is equal to k equal to t1 minus of t infinity by resistances the first one ri is the resistance by the insulating layer ri is the resistance of the insulating layer that means hollow sphere uh, resistance plus of r convective that is a convective resistance the insulating resistance plus of the convective resistance we are going to take there is thermal potential resistance to uh, potential difference to the thermal resistance that ratio we can take as the rate of heat transfer for the composite systems then this ri and r convective which can be given as that is q equal to that is the temperature difference will be there in the numerator t1 minus t infinity and for the spr okay the, the resistance can be given as r2 minus r1 by 4 pi k r1 r2 the this is the thermal resistance for the hollow sphere which is having the inside radius r1 and outside radius r2 and thermal conductivity k plus of the convective resistance for the sphere which is having the outside radius r2 that can be given as its surface area 4 pi r2 square multiplied with a heat transfer coefficient okay this the resistances we can take in the denominator then here this can be taken as the equation one assuming all parameters are fixed except r2 which can be increased or decreased okay in this equation all parameters are fixed except r2 the r2 means outside radius the t1 t infinity r1 k h all are fixed except r2 which will be increased or decreased in order to get the maximum heat transfer further moving the critical thickness or a critical radius of insulation for sphere is obtained by differentiating equation 1 with respect to r2 and equated to 0 okay that 
critical thickness of insulation or a critical radius of insulation for the sphere we can obtain the equating the differentiating equation 1 with respect to r2 which is a variable and equate it to a zero then that can be written as dq by dr2 is equal to d by dr2 of that equation e1 minus t infinity by r2 minus r1 by 4 pi k r1 r2 plus of 1 by h into 4 pi r2 square that is equated to 0. Then this d by dr2 will be there. Numerator will keep like that. Denominator, these two terms what are there, those can be separated for the differentiating. Okay, that is we can write r2 by this whole term. Then the r2 r2 get cancels. One will be remains in the numerator and then in denominator 4 pi k r1 will be remains. Minus of r1 by this whole term. Then r1 r1 get cancels from the second term then 4 pi k r2 will be remains in the denominator minus of 1 by 4 pi k r2 plus of this convective resistance that is h into 4 pi r2 square. Then this can be differentiated by taking the differentiation of the u by v ratio. The differentiation of the u by v ratio can be taken as uh, v into du v into du multiplied uh, minus of v into uh, u into dv by v square. The transition of u by v will be uh, v into du, the v multiplied with the differentiation of the u minus of u multiplied with the differentiation of the v by v square. Okay, by taking that one, we can write first term v into du, the v is this term, and du, all terms are constant in the u. All terms are constant in the u. Therefore, differentiation of this term will become zero. Therefore, the first term v into du, whatever is there, that will be equal to zero. The second term, that is t1 minus t infinity, okay, u multiplied with a dv, differentiation of this denominator, one by four pi k r1 differentiation. The all terms are constant, and this term will become say zero plus of okay then the second term this can r2 can be taken in the numerator then that becomes a r2 raised to minus 1 dip and 1 by 4 pi k will be constant then r2 raised to minus 1 will become say minus 1 into uh, minus 1 r2 raised to minus 2 minus 1 minus up 1 will take r2 raised to minus 2 it will become say in the numerator and that can be taken in the denominator therefore it will become say minus of minus it will be plus and one one by four pi k r2 raised to minus two will be taken as the r2 square that is a four pi k r2 square minus of the second term this differentiation r2 raised to minus two we can take in the numerator and that can be taken as minus two multiplied with the r2 raised to minus three then minus two will take outside here the minus 2 we are going to take here, minus 2 will be there here, okay, that uh, is not written here, the 2 should be taken, the 2 and uh, and this 4 pi h will be there and r2 square will become say r2 raised to minus 3 and that can be taken as the denominator r2 cube it will becomes r2 cube and divided by this is the v into du minus of the u into dv, dv we have taken denominator the v square this whole term will be square then simplifying this equation this denominator v square what is there that can be sent to this right hand side that will become equal to zero and this zero can be sent to that side and this only term will be remains in the equation then t1 minus t infinity should not be equal to zero because here if the t non minus t infinity equal to 0 then there is no heat transfer therefore this term 1 by 4 pi k r2 square minus of 2 into 1 by 4 pi r2 cube into h equal to 0 okay then this the negative sign is there then we can send one term right hand side and then we can write simplified equation as a 1 by 4 pi k r2 square and that is equal to 2 by 4 pi r2 cube into h. 
and both side the common terms you can strike out this 4 pi 4 pi get cancels and r2 square and 2 r2 will be get cancels then the whatever the k is there will send this side r2 will you can take this side now r2 is equal to 2k pi h on simplifying this equation we are going to get r2 equal to or rc equal to 2k by h which is a critical thickness of insulation for the spear thanks for watching if you like share subscribe and comment